Hey everyone, hope you've been doing well. Uh, it is finally starting to get cold here in Texas, so I'm feeling the winter spirit. And of course, coming off of the uh, winter holidays, I hope you had a good Christmas, New Year. Um, I know mine was amazing, probably the best one I've had so far. So cheers to the new year and I hope it's awesome for you. Um, just a quick kind of informal update. I'm not even sure if my camera's straight here. Um, won't be too fancy, but I did want to show you some of the things I've been knocking out. When we first sent out the Swordswoman Tarot deck to reviewers, um, we didn't even have all of the minor arcana, uh, the non-portrait cards finished. Uh, we had most of them as a mock-up, but we just said, well, let's just see if this project is, uh, getting funded, if people are interested, and we'll go from there. Thankfully, you were interested, so thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. And I've been doing some of the final, um, the last of the minor arcana. I've been creating those. So let's take a look. Hopefully this will show up okay. Here's our two of cups. Very nice. It's kind of like uh, Viking drinking horns there. Um, I thought that would be kind of a nice take on the cups, like instead of all the cups being the same, all of them being kind of similar, different culture, different time periods. Here's a ten of cups, some kind of nice slender party cups there. Very cool. These weren't in the, these weren't on the campaign. These weren't in the uh, sample decks we sent out to our viewers. These are, so these are brand new. This is kind of what I've been working on. Sorry, technical difficulties, here we go. Here's the Nine of Cups, very nice. Kind of like the um, brew house tavern vibes almost, but kind of a nice refined look to it with the leaves and the cups. So those are all new. Okay, the cover of the accompanying little booklet that has all the explanations for the um, card readings, things like that. Here it is in all of its glory. Oh, now all of this is just surrounding color so that the color doesn't get cut off. You know, the actual book cover will be cut off around here somewhere, but this is just extra color just in case. There's our title. Um, it might be reversed for you because I'm filming mirror style just so I can make sure I keep it all in the frame. But, um, I had done the front part as a mock-up for the campaign just to see if people are interested. And so now, thankfully that it's funded, we can do the whole thing. Here's our spine. And here's on the back, you know, I've got the back, this back frame kind of mirroring the front, but also I put this vintage kind of swordswoman figure from the 1800s. I thought that'd be kind of cool. So it's like a cool little vintage style booklet. It'll be, you know, let's see. I mean, it'll be small. Um, I don't know if, you, if you've if you ever had any experience with, I'm sure some of our supporters, it's maybe their first time buying a tarot deck. Others, I'm sure y'all are, you know, pros and veterans and maybe know more than I on the subject. But um, if you've ever gotten a little tarot booklet, you know kind of what to expect for that. So let's see. Um, formatting, this is, this might be a little blurry, but you can see here. See those cut lines, like the blue cut lines and everything? Formatting this, uh, formatting things digitally is a challenge. Um, so, uh, not to complain at all, because I did this to myself, and I'm very thankful to be working on the project. Um, but for me, you know, uh, getting everything just right, it's quite involved, but thankfully, we should be all the way down the cover. And then this is a little blurry. This is gonna be blurry for you as well, but I'm just showing you as kind of a reference, you know, cause you have to kind of worry about things where, where they're cut off or whatever. I showed a mock-up of the inside pages of the history for the swordswoman cause each swordswoman is gonna get a little blur about their history. I showed that with some kind of extra clip art and decorations and stuff on the sides, but I realized pretty quickly, if you take those out, you can fit more text. So if you compare this to the image that you had on the, um, the actual Kickstarter 
site. Um, we've taken out some of those little clip arty type things and we've gone for more text, so more information, um, maybe more rooms for at least like a photo to go along with the uh, historical portrait, which I assume is what y'all want. You know, you get the beautiful art of the cards and then the book should just be mainly information. I don't want to create like a whole other art book or something to have to worry about that too as well. Sorry for the blurriness there, but this is just kind of a reference, a screenshot reference to see the layout of the book. And so there'll be 22 portraits total. Um, yeah, 22 swordswoman portraits, I believe at least. And so there'll be 22 accompanying little pages of bio information for each one. And that's a great starting point. You know, if you've never heard of this person before, you can Google them or look them up, uh, whatever you need to do. Have fun researching them, you know, on your own, by yourself, with uh, friends, with family, however you wanna do that. So uh, let's see, what else? I was at a Christmas party and um, I ran to a supporter of one of the, uh, uh, of this, this project of Swords of Intero and someone I've known for a while. And uh, she was, uh, she was so delighted and so encouraging. I was like, oh, thanks so much for supporting. And she was like, oh, are you kidding me? You know, it, uh, you know it's, it's interesting history. It's someone I know, it's, you know, beautiful art. So that was so nice to hear. And uh, it was so nice to hear that encouragement in person. And it was nice to tell her thank you in person. I wish I could reach to the screen and uh, spend uh, this cold afternoon drinking some hot tea with you and uh, telling you thank you in person. But you'll just have to accept it via screen, I guess. Thank you very much. And that's all for now. At that Christmas party, I pulled out my phone and I showed her a portrait that has been in progress, you know? And so I'll probably update you on that in maybe a week. Maybe a week and a half, but probably a week. And so I'll just keep updating as far as portraits go and some, you know, less glamorous stuff as well, like the layout for the book, the layout for the cards. Um, the digital stuff is maybe the alignment and getting everything lined up for the printer is the most tedious. And then maybe once we start talking to a printer, that part might be tedious, kind of getting everything lined up to be shipped over. But I'll just try and keep you guys informed every step of the way. And um, if you have time, grab some tea and watch and uh, catch up on the project. If not, just assume everything's going uh, okay. No need to... Uh, take the time if you're really busy. Uh, so thank you so much. I hope the new year is looking bright for you. And I think that's about it. So stay tuned and I'll see you at the next update. Thank you.